Here's what we have as LT230 transfer case. The US spec triple sleeve casing, ATB HT sump, 300M output shaft, and we kept the stock ratio as MT82 gearbox. We have the performance one with the LOF clutches output shaft. Tu sais malheureusement. Non, ça a l'air de bon. Un double croisillon, j'ai jamais été fan. Je vais les graisser. Non, toi celui-là c'est bon. Toi ce qu'il faut en fait c'est qu'il le prenne comme ça en main. Ouais. Tu regardes qu'il n'y pas de, de jeu radial. Jeu, ouais. Et puis après il faut qu'il manœuvre bien. Ok. Dans les deux ouais, sens. Et puis qu'il n'y ait pas de points durs quoi. Ouais. S'il y a des points durs, ça veut dire que tu as, as des aiguilles qui sont en train de lâcher quoi. Mmh. Donc là, c'est pas le cas. Nous ce qui avait lâché sur le dernier parce qu'en fait. Droit. Ouais. Dans la boule là au milieu. Ouais.
évaluation il est nickel, il n'y a pas une lèvre d'arraché. Je pense que le verdict il est clair. Hein. Pour moi c'est celui-là. Hein. Il y a qui ici que c'est mouillé. Hein. It would be easy to pretend that this new upgrade was decided as a regular maintenance process when in fact the reality is much different. At least we have a happy ending and we are grateful Winchester Gears is really professional in our customer to company relationship unlike the bad experience that brought us to contact them. It's crazy how many different things we have done on the Defender this year and this adds to the 2022 list. And yes, we still live, live in a mess and I'm not gonna show you what's behind the camera because it's horrible. I know you're asking, why replace the transfer case and the gearbox? To be honest, for a simple but bitter reason. He wants to go out. It started a year ago with a leaking transfer case. It was leaking for a while. This transfer case was rebuilt with some HD parts we had chosen. And a month after, it was leaking again without going off-road or even driving with the Defender. This is the real short story because for a complete year I've been absolutely shocked on how we've been treated as customers regarding this transfer case rebuild fail. So it started with this real bad experience going on looking for a trustful company who could provide us with a new HD transfer case. As Winchester Gears also does gearboxes my husband decided we should go for a complete replacement and upgrade for better as we're almost reaching 200,000 kilometers and had some noises in the transmission too. Now we have a shiny new gearbox and a shiny new transfer case both made by Winchester Gears in the UK. Because of our always heavy off-road Overlander 4x4 camper setup, when we replace parts we always try to go for ones that are supposed to handle better all these constraints. We already drove a few hundred kilometers since the installation and most noises have disappeared and we can't see any oil dripping. Of course, we will only be able to make a proper review and comparison after an extended period of driving and going off-road with the Defender. A quick thank you to Liane and Tom from Winchester Gears and also to Cyprien from Garage Très La Tête in France.
eat some fruits. And I think I have some fruits in my teeth. Sorry for that.